Now we can't even trust two Christians in courtship anymore. We can't trust them. Christians are using courtship now to hide sexual immorality. Our sisters have become endangered species, not outside in the church. Sometimes tears fall from my own eyes when I when sisters share with me the things they go through from pastors. Bible study teacher. Two Sundays ago, a young lady walked into service. Um, two Wednesdays ago. And then after prayer meeting, she came to me. She said, I needed to see you. I've lost confidence in myself, lost faith. My spiritual life is in tatters. And once a sister starts talking like that, I know what the issue is. It was one of the leaders in fellowship who she went to. She went to submit herself for mentorship. The organa took an occasion to touch breast and molest the sister. The sister was so shocked that when the thing was happening, she didn't know what to say. Now went and started blaming herself. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me that did not do one thing. Meanwhile, if this brother holds microphone to lead prayer, It will seem like God came. You know what I told myself over the years? What I told myself over the years is, the pulpit eh, is God that determines what he will do. Hmm? There can be somebody in the congregation so desperate for God, so desperate for God, that God will just take advantage of that, that false individual. We just use the person as a potter just so he can meet that person. But it doesn't mean he validates that man's life. So a, a, a chronic fornicator can prophesy and he will be accurate. Not because God places a seal on his life, but because there's someone he needs to meet and he needs to take occasion that individual. That's why my private life is more important to me than pulpit ministry. You don't know how I beg God before I came to teach you. I, because me, I know, I know myself that if it's to teach something, I can find something to teach. I can come here now and talk to you for four hours and then we strike the keyboard, power will come. I can do it. But the question is, what does the Lord want to say to you? And the Lord was telling me that he sent me to a few people this morning. And the question is, how did you become separated from the bridegroom? How did it happen? How come you are looking for him everywhere? Don't you know where you normally used to find him? Lovers have places where they know that if I go there, he will be there. They have secret hangouts. They have codes that they use to communicate. If he caught eye for me, I know sin I till he did How is it that she was lying on the bed and she suddenly realized, where is the one whom my heart loves? I need to ask a young man here, how come you've gone so far and yet it has been without Jesus? Where did you become separated from him? And you know the thing I'm speaking about, the reality I'm speaking about is that the bride can be going on as if everything is okay. This Shulamite, this her condition is a sign of spiritual health. She's not yet spiritually dead. She's drowsy at this point. She's overwhelmed with, 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 with spiritual malaria. She has not died yet. This is a sign that her pulse is still alive. She can sense that there is something missing. Some people have gotten to a point where they no longer know what is missing. They can't tell. They just know that the Christian life has become mechanical. They know all the phrases. They know how to dress and look like a believer. But that juice, that sweetness, that thing I was trying to find that morning, 
the, the people who know what I'm talking about know what I'm talking about. When you lose that thing, it's very hard to get it back. I get messages from around the world and many times the cry is, Rev! I messed up. I lost God. Trying to get it back. It's been years. I'm not the same. Marriages. Huh? When you've been betrothed to the bridegroom. And you attempt to defile yourself with a stranger. You will never come back the same. Never. That's how prayer lives have been lost. That's how people have disqualified themselves from the agenda of God. 